There was a city council meeting on expanding LGBT rights and protections in the workplace. This was in Florida. I believe it was Jacksonville, Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And a man named Roy Bay stood up to speak out against the gay community. So he's against these new measures to protect the gay community. Uh, and he made a stunning admission. So listen to what he says here, but then also take note of the response of the crowd. I am 56 years old. At the age of 10 to 12 years old, I was in restroom businesses and I was sexually assaulted by the homosexual community because that was at the time, you know, as kids, we're looking for love and attention. A lot of times we get it from the wrong people. At that time, I was in the restroom, didn't know any better. I'm like a typical kid. I had a problem with my zipper, couldn't get it unzipped. Guy says, can I help you? I'm well, sure, you know, you know I didn't, why not? You know, I gotta go to the bathroom. Didn't think anything in those times. I entered into the life of homosexuality and did the same thing. Because that's what I thought life was all about. Going in the bathrooms and places and businesses and sexually assaulting kids. Because that's what I thought. Unfortunately, that was not the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to go in public restrooms and stuff. I learned that later in life. 19, in June 19, 1985, I found out that was not acceptable. Yeah, I never went to jail. I never went to jail. I lived most of my life sexually assaulting kids. I never went to jail. Because why? Kids believe me that, hey, this is all, you're all right, son. This is not a problem. Okay? This happens in the homosexual lifestyle. Okay? Over and over. It's been happening for years. The reason I say back in June 1985, I realized that was not the acceptable answer. I became a born again child of God, and God set me free from that lifestyle. We'll, we'll have no demonstrations. Thank you. And I have ministered to people and taught them that this is not an acceptable lifestyle. And if this bill does pass, unfortunately, it will become more acceptable than what it is now. That's unbelievable. I, I can't believe that that unfolded the way it did. He how can you tell that story, number one? And number two, the reaction of the crowd. He goes through detailing how he assaulted, sexually assaulted kids his entire life, never went to jail. And then finally he was like, okay, I'm not going to do it anymore. And then when he says, because of Jesus, they're like, oh, hey, Jesus, stop you from touching little kids' dicks. What the fuck? That's a low bar to cheer. Like, oh, you finally stopped. Wonderful. That guy belongs in jail, man. You can't do that. And I, I hope that the authorities are looking into it and they're trying to find evidence and build a case now. I don't want that guy out there I admitting that he actually did the act, that he did it. He f did it in reality. I, I, I'm stunned watching that. I was, uh, when I first saw that earlier today, my jaw was on the fucking ground. So look at what he says. First of all, he starts by explaining how he was sexually assaulted. And he says, by the homosexual community. And then he ended up doing that when he grew up. Now, what's the reality here? No, you weren't sexually assaulted by the homosexual community. You were sexually assaulted by a predator. If it, this is any community, it's the sexual predator community. It's the active pedophile community preying on little kids. And even that's not fair. It's a, uh, what's the, I, there's a word. Pedophile is not actually doing the act. It's somebody who's sexually attracted to kids, but doesn't necessarily do the act. I think it's pederist. Is it pederist who actually does it? Um... But that, you're assaulted by them, not the gay community. No, this is sloppy thinking, and this guy's really confused, and indeed he is a criminal. And let, I mean, let's be perfectly clear here. You can be gay, straight, and only be attracted to adults, obviously. And you can be a pedophile or a pederist and be attracted to both boys and girls, or just boys, or just girls. So, but he, he's like, because he 
went after little boys, he's like, well, that's what the gay community represents, right? No, not at all. The gay community represents wanting to marry each other and live normal lives. This is the worst case of projection. So I was uh, sexually assaulted to the same sex, but little boys. So therefore, that's what the entire gay community is like. No! That's what the pedophile or pederist sexual predator community is like. And again, there's some that just go for the opposite sex. So he's just totally confused. And finally, he says, religion doesn't stop people. Or I'm sorry, religion stopped me from uh, doing from doing this anymore. Okay, well, look, for you, I'm happy that that stopped you. I think there should still be punishment. You should still go to jail and serve time because you just can't do that. And then say, I'm better. Jesus, I'm better. No, no. But more importantly, it still worked for you. It doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody else. In fact, quite the opposite. We, there are uh, countless stories of systemic sexual abuse in the Catholic Church where the priests and people in the hierarchy would go after kids sexually and then they would shuffle them from a diocese to diocese so they would avoid punishment. It was uh, part of the way it was structured. So this idea that, no, if you just come to religion, that's it. You know, you're, you're cured. Well, what about all the ones who were already in the religion and believed in the religion and still did it? So that's not a cure. And he, look, at he's using his story of him sexually assaulting kids. He's using that as a reason to not give workplace protections to the gay community today. There's no connection between that whatsoever. We're all against sexually assaulting kids. That should be against the law. Nobody's argued that should be, you know, hey, let's legalize that. Nobody argued that. We're arguing that people who are gay and who are obviously not assaulting kids, uh, they should have protections in the workplace so that they don't get fired, for example, just for being gay. Man, this guy's confused and he's a criminal and uh, he needs to be brought up on trial. I hope people are looking into this.